for this lab 8 we have this input DIP switch we have an output LED bar we have this pull down SIP resistor we also have these three gates that we are going to be copying and pasting more of we're not just using three gates for this we're using a multitude of gates and these gates are from a library um, without these gates we could go into the top left where it says place we're gonna or we're not this actual place button but these little um, kind of animations right here place basic place diode all this place stuff and then we can click it and then we can search for specific gates that we would like to place down so this gate right here the gate with the code 7408 is a AND gate and then the 7432 is a OR gate and lastly the 7404 is a NOT gate and we're going to use all of these to demonstrate the part 1 kmaps that we did and that is in the playlist linked below the like button so the kmaps that we did look something like this so we did this previously um, this is really the important part and now we're just going to graph it on multi-sim so we're doing this in a simulation now that we've done it on by hand so doing this in the simulation it's kind of the same but it'll look a little bit different so there's a couple cases that we have to look at let's look at the blue part first so we have this CD plus AB plus A naught BC now that might sound like a lot but what we're going to do first is actually build out the skeleton of our wires so using control shift W we can get a wire in here and we want to connect all of these wires to the resistor just like this so we have A B C D we have three inputs and then we're going to have uh, two outputs and we'll see that in a second so we have these here we also need to connect these to the voltage right here because the resistor is connected to ground so this needs to be connected to the voltage we're going to connect this here connect this here as well and so that is the connection for our four um, input switches now we want to make sure that we're lighting this up correctly when we um, do our inputs so we're going to connect these to the LED bar so we have one here second ones here and then we have the third one here and lastly the fourth one here and then we can test this so we're going to run this and then we can flip the switches and we will see that they all light up so now that they all light up we can stop the test and continue building out our circuit so now we're actually going to be looking at the blue part so we have CD first and we can see that these are both 1 1 inputs and since they're both 1 1 since they're not not um, we're going to use the AND gate which is a 7408 we are going to use this AND gate and then we're going to need another AND gate for our AB and we'll paste this right here and then we're going to need another AND gate for our BC so we will copy this and paste it again down here and it's good to organize these because we're actually going to have a lot inside of here so it's going to look something like this now let's deal with the CD first so for the CD we're going to grab our wire again and then we're going to connect this terminal end right here and I'm going to zoom in a little bit but we're going to connect it to this C right here if you um, click like right here and then go over here it's a little easier to manage the wire so that's one input that's our C and then we're going to connect this second one to the D so C and D are now connected we're going to do the same thing but for A and then for B so we have A and B connected here and that's connected like this now we need to connect this to an OR gate and so it's basically saying well we're going to use this input or this input and so we're going to connect a wire from this output to this input and then this output to this input and so both of those will power this OR gate next 
we are going to have this last AND gate down here and we are going to connect it to we have an A naught BC and so since we have an A naught we're not going to connect it to A we are not connecting it but we do have to connect it to our B and we do have to connect it to our C and then this and the U4A the U3A and the U4A are going to be connected to an OR gate so these will be connected here and the reason why this OR gate and this AND gate are connected to this OR gate is because it's saying well it's going to take the truth output for this or it's going to take the truth output for this so we're going to connect these so the inputs connect to the output and then likewise right here the input is connected to the output and then this is going to we'll just make it go to the last LED bar and so that's what that will look like now we can test this so everything is off currently if we flip up our C and our D our output lights up if we turn these off and then flip up our A and then we flip up our B our output turns on and then if we flip up not the A but we flip up the B and the C our output lights up so this is working and now we're going to do the same thing but we're going to do it for the one in green so I'm just going to copy and paste these over here so we have them for reference now for green we have a C naught and a D naught so we're going to start off with this not gate we have a C naught here and then below it or since we're running out of room actually we can do below it so we'll have this down here now we are going to need to connect them so since they're all knots we are going to connect them to um, normally we wouldn't like this previous one when we had a naught BC um, for when we had it right here we didn't connect our a naught but since we're dealing with knots here we are going to basically take the opposite of it so we are going to connect all the knots so this a is or this C this we're gonna do C naught D naught first so this is our C naught and this will be our D naught and then from here this will be connected to an AND gate because we need both of these on or both of these not on because we're dealing with not to be true so we have one not output here and then another not output here this feeds into an AND gate and then if they are both not because they have to both be not to be true this will feed into something else which we'll get into in a second from here what we can do is we're going to say well we have an a not b not and a d not so we need three of these we're going to have our a not we are going to have our b not and then we're going to have our c not and since we have a lot of room out here we can move these like this so now we're going to connect our wires we are going to have our a naught we are going to uh, have our b naught and then lastly we will have our d naught and so those are those three connected and then from here what we need to do is we need to connect this and this to an AND gate because they again both have to be not for this to be true so this will connect to an AND gate we're going to have our output connect to our inputs we'll just have it wired like this and then output to inputs so we have two knots going into an AND and then from here what we're going to do is we are going to have this AND right here so what we're going to do next is we're going to have this AND connect to another AND here because we need to connect it with this knot right here and so now those are connected we need to connect this part so to connect this part we're just connecting an OR because um, this plus represents an OR when we have our green equation we basically have a C knot and D knot that's what multiplication does and then the plus is an OR we have an OR A knot times B knot times D knot so we're going to bring our OR down here and then we can connect them so we will bring the output here and then right here 
and then we'll bring the output here to here and then we're going to connect it right here and so those are our gates we can click run again and we'll try this out so when we have C naught and D naught switched this is on and to prove this we will flip A and B up and so our C naught is still on or our C naught D naught is still on we're gonna flip these down and we're gonna try A naught B naught and D naught so we flip up our our wait that's the wrong one <laughs> when we flip up our C we can see that we still have an output and that's because it works properly now if we were to flip up two of these we can see that it turns off and this is because it only works as long as they are not so as long as three are not at least this will be able to output and I broke it because um, I think I might have touched one of the wrong switches but uh, so as long as it's in our truth table it will output the correct answer and that is how you would go about the second part of this lab